Alright, so this is uh, to simplify the uh, information that you have to into the graph that you're going to have for the LLE phase diagram. Okay, so remember that we are dealing with liquid liquid extraction, right? And then all the streams, the composition, they are in the liquid form, okay? Whether the feed that you have, the solvent that you have, the raffinate that you have, and the extract that you have. So everything here are in the uh, liquid phase. So this is how you label your coordinates for the feed. Okay, for the feed L naught. Since this is only this is only two dimension graph, so you need to have uh, points which consist of A and only C because you have mass fraction of A or your solute at the horizontal axis and mass fraction of your solvent or C at the Y axis. So this is the same like what you have in your uh, mathematical graph. You have X coordinate, you have Y coordinates. So the only difference here is how we label our coordinates. Okay, so you still have to begin with the value of X coordinate and then followed by the Y coordinates. Okay, so in our case, our X coordinate represent our solute and then the Y coordinates represent our solvent. Okay, therefore L0 will consist of A and C. But still, you can have your B here, alright? But there are three parameters, A, B, and C. Therefore, if you know two of them, you know A and C, you should definitely know to calculate your B. Okay? So the composition of L0 can, be, can consist of A, B, and C. But if you know only two, you know the other one. Because the total mass fraction always equal to one. Okay. And then uh, for single stage, all right, the raffinate is labeled as L1. Okay. For the multiple, it is labeled as Ln. Okay. So L1 is Xa1, Xc1. So the bottom part of this uh, stage, you're going to use uh, alphabet X. The above one, you're going to use Y. It doesn't mean that this is in gas phase. Okay. So you have L1, you have V2, you have V1 as your extract. So majority of your solute will be recovered at your extract. You want to collect your solute at your extract. So the amount of extract will consist of your solvent, okay, and then your solute, and maybe a little bit of your diluent. But at your raffinate, it consists of very small amount of extract, okay, a very small amount of solute, sorry, and then... Uh, large amount of uh, diluent B okay and maybe a little bit of solvent it depends on the question given to you and your solvent can be pure okay if your solvent is pure okay so your YC2 is always equal to 1 so YA, YA2 will, be, will become 0 right so that, this is how it looks like so you can see that the input that you have here is L0 and V2. Since this is before it's entering the process, so we're going to assume that the composition that we have at V2 at, or at a solvent stream and at the feed stream is not are not in equilibrium. Okay? So if they are not in equilibrium, the position can be outside or not on the equilibrium curve that you have okay but l1 and v1 or you can call it as the raffinate stream and extract stream they have gone through the uh, process 
So the product should be in equilibrium. Okay, the product should be in equilibrium. Therefore, when you label your V1, it should be on the equilibrium curve. Okay, when you label your L1, it should be in the equilibrium curve. So it's the same thing if you were to refer to the multiple stage. So L0 and, and Vn plus 1, okay, for multiple stage. So they should not be on the equilibrium curve. They can be outside of this curve. Okay, but for the raffinate, for multiple stage, you label LN. And the extract V1, it should be on the equilibrium curve. Okay, so you just re uh, replace your L1 here. Okay, and your, uh, your, the other one is what? The other one is V1. Okay. For multiple stage, you use LN. And then uh, V2, for multiple stage, you're going to use VAN plus 1. Uh, VN plus 1, sorry.